Hey nail queens, welcome back. So today I have a nail haul of sorts. Um, most of it is from Red Iguana, which I featured once or twice on my channel before, but not a lot, and I really should feature them more, but they were having a sale, so it was like up to 90% off, and the prices were incredible. Let me tell you, like a dollar to three dollars max per item. So, and I also got some things from Maniology. It's part of their subscription bundle. Um, it was the express kit. I get the $18 kit. So I'm going to show you guys this first. Just knock it out of the way. It was Winnie the Pooh themed. It's so freaking cute. It is so adorable. Yes, this is Winnie the Pooh themed. And I, I mean, I love Disney. And my aunt is obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. She loves Winnie the Pooh. So like I had to get this. Maybe I'll make her some press-ons or something with Winnie the Pooh. Um, yeah, so I was very excited to get these plates in the mail. Um, this is part of their express kit so it's like $18 and you get like the freebie fun item and then two stamping plates. The express one doesn't come with the stamping polishes which I have an abundance of so I didn't need more but I couldn't resist um, this little detailer brush as well. So yeah. So moving on into all of the things that I got from them. Oh my gosh it was so much that they had on sale and it was hard to like not buy all the things. I think I spent $25 total without shipping. And let me show you all the things I got. So um, first up, I got a lot of their marble inks. I try to get colors that I don't have. So I have a bunch of marble inks or alcohol inks from Triple D, a couple from Madam Glam. But I wanted to try out like new colors and everything. And their bottles are so tiny. Like I think this packaging is a waste of money and space, but like, look how cute and tiny these are. They're so little. I don't want to open it because usually marble inks have some kind of like rubbing alcohol in them and that evaporates. So I don't want to open them right this second. But they're, um, I got violet, green, blue, and then what else? What other? Orange. Is that yellow as well? I figured the orange and the yellow would probably be good for... What are they called? I'm drawing blank. I oh, just love those colors together. For, what is the name of it? It's um, tortoiseshell. Tortoiseshell nails. I thought they would be cute for tortoiseshell nails. thought the purple and green would be great for like Halloween. And then blue and green, great for Christmas. Orange and yellow, also great for Halloween as well. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but those seemed fun. Um, I also picked up some of their stamping polishes, but they're gel stamping polishes. So I've been wanting to venture into the gel stamping polish realm ever since I started doing press-ons. Like I've heard of this before. I actually had a tube from Red Iguana in the past. I don't know where it is, to be honest. I don't know what I did with it. Can't find it. But um, I picked up their black and white. I think those are the only two colors they have. But there's brands over on Amazon that have gel stamping polishes. So I want to try this out and see if it's better than regular stamping polish. So maybe I'll give it a test run in a separate video. I'm excited to try that. Um, now that I'm doing press-ons for my shop... I have learned you can never have enough liquids. So if I can pick up a gel base, a gel top coat, matte top coat, whatever the case may be, especially if it's like super duper cheap, then it is totally worth the money. So this was only a couple bucks. I'll pull up my receipt in a second and show you guys how much everything was. The bundle, it was so, so cheap. I couldn't believe it. And then let me open this up. This is liquid chrome. Um, it's literally a silvery chrome. It's crazy how beautiful it looks. Um, this is white chrome, so it's one gram. Any, a little bit of chrome goes a long way. So, oh my gosh, they really packaged this to death, didn't they? Oh, that looks like a lot of chrome powder in there. And it was super cheap. Chrome is expensive, so I'm like... I don't know why they're discounting this so much, but I don't know if you can see all the powder moving around in there. Well, let me let me open this. I don't have any nails on right now. It's shameful. Um, oh, there's two stickers. Jeez. Okay. 
Um, -da -da. Pat it down so there's nothing hanging out on the lid. Please don't let there be a third sticker. Okay, got it. That is a lot of chrome. Like, a lot. And for how cheap this was, I am truly shocked. I also noticed that I didn't have my microphone plugged into my um, camera, so if that was staticky, I apologize. I just switched it over and changed out the battery too because it was dying. But this is the liquid chrome, and it is literally liquid. Like, it's not lying when it says liquid chrome. It is a liquid product. So is there an open? Oh, there's only open on this, but not this. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't spill everywhere. Okay, oh, thank goodness. Let me get this open real quick. Okay, so you can already see that silver right there. I'm like, I have to be careful when opening this to not spill it everywhere, but also not get this all up in there. So I don't want to actually take off the entire lid. But you see that? Like I imagine, I'm gonna have to look up some tutorials on this, that you like burnish this in or like rub it on or something. I should have got like multiples of these cause like that is a pretty cool color. What? Look at that. Isn't that neat? I wonder if it like cures hard or something. Well, it's a UV LED gel. So it's like a silver chrome, I guess, silver gel. Um, I'm like, do I cure this in my lamp? Hold on, let me go cure this. Uh, I don't know if it's going to cure like that, if it's that cool or anything. But yeah, I just thought this haul was pretty neat for 25 bucks. It might not seem like a lot, but like in nail world, getting this much product for 25 bucks is really unheard of. Unless it's like Black Friday for some reason, or not for some reason, it's obviously Black Friday. But this wasn't a Black Friday sale, so like to get this many products for 25 bucks, I felt like I was robbing the store. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all of the things that I got. I'm like, should I test them out? Okay, I don't know if that cured. That cured, yep, that cured all right, yep. Neat. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me put the matte top coat on it. <laughs> I'm like so playing with my stuff. Matte top coat. Yeah. Oh, you can totally use your nail stuff on other things. I've seen people like decorate products and whatnot and <laughs> use their nail supplies for literally so much more than just nails. It's practically art products. I'm like... These marble inks I basically have from, is it Dr. Oh gosh, what is the company? I forget the name of the company, but I have like literally every single one of their, their watercolor gouache colors. And it basically does what this does. So sometimes I wonder if those things could transfer into nail art, but then obviously the ingredients, some things are not safe or used for skin and some are, which is why like you have cosmetics that are safe to use on your skin. And then you have nail art or regular art products that are not safe to use on your skin. Okay. So matte top coat is all cured. That's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. I just basically practiced on this little stick right here because why not? I was already digging it in. I actually use this to put my press-ons like on the card that I'm applying them on, but yeah. Um, I wanna play, I wanna play, but it's late at night right now, so I don't know if I should play. See, all this packaging goes in the trash. Ugh. Which is a bummer, because it's really pretty packaging, but like, I can't do anything with it. Okay, so I don't know if I should play around with this. I just wanted to show you guys the things I got. If they're still on sale, I'll leave the link of the sale link down in the description box below for anyone who wants to spend some money and get some nail mail. Like for me, it was worth it to trial some new things from them, trial their chrome, especially their liquid chrome that looks so cool. 
try all their matte top coat maybe one day it'll be like maybe it'll become a favorite for my press on shop and i'll be like oh my god because right now i've been using the nail reserve um matte top coat although i have a few others um and right now my favorite glossy top coat is this one and i to be honest, I probably need a favorite from one shop. Like I need all my favorites to be one store, but realistically that's not how it works for me because um, I like trying new things and I've seen and learned that it's almost practically impossible to have a favorite from every product in the rainbow from one store. So let's see. Oh, let's, I really wonder how this works. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it looks kind of clear in the tube. How does this work? What? How does this work? Okay, you know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna try the stamping polish because I'm intrigued and you guys should be able to get to see like one demonstration here tonight at least. Let me find a swatch stick of some sort. Um, okay, what do I wanna try? I'm going to use the black. It's interesting because it's not, oh, there it is. How do you do this? Are you supposed to like jiggle it in? Like, I don't want to squeeze the whole tube, you know? Oh, I should have probably put a napkin down. <laughs> it's gel. I don't want it to make a mess all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to use my scraper card. Oh, wow, that's a lot of gel. Um, oh, my God, it's already transferring to the mat underneath. I should have really thought this through. All right, hopefully this is how it works. Um, the first deposit was kind of iffy because it started coming off clear at first. Does this clean up the same way? No, it does not. <gasps> no. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. I'm over here like being all dramatic and uh, it cleans up just fine. Hold on, let me clean this off. I'll be right back. Pretty easy to clean up. Since it's gel, all I had to use was rubbing alcohol to clean that off. So I'm gonna try this again. Now that I actually have like a better deposit of the color. Where did I put that scraper card? Oh. Is that how you work, little guy? I don't know. I don't know if I should be scraping it that many times. Probably not. Probably shouldn't have. Oh, wow, that was actually really beautiful. Um, to clean it up though, you gotta take the lint roller a couple times, not just once, and roll it around a couple times. Okay, so it's not like, Stamping polish perfect. Oh no. I don't like that. I do not like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that. Let me try a different one. Mm -mm -mm. Try this little guy over here. That way I can test out if this is worth you purchasing it or not. I mean, it's stamping polish, so... Okay, the little squirrel looks so cute when you pick it up. Okay. I'm trying to clean all of this off. I wonder if when you stamp with gel, you're supposed to like use a different technique in terms of stamping onto the thing. Because those lines are pretty perfect, you see? It came out nice and crisp. But like when I stamped the guy, he looks more blurred. It's like I could stamp it multiple times. Oh my gosh, I can stamp it multiple times. It's just interesting, you know? I don't know if I love it. I don't know. I'm gonna watch some tutorials and I'll figure this out because I don't want those stamping gels to go to waste but I'm also like right now as I've never used this before I'm impressed with the way it picks up I'm impressed by the way I see it on the stamp I'm not impressed on the way it like transfers onto this 
could you even do reverse stamping with this? Like, what's the point? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If anybody has experience with this kind of stamping, I would love to hear your thoughts, opinions, all the things. All right. Okay, yeah. So I think that is the end of today's video. I'm just switching everything over to do a thumbnail. Oh, okay. So yeah, I want to do a little thumbnail. Guys. <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed my little haul and maybe you'll find other things in the sale section if the sale is still going on that you might like to pick up so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye